Hey everybody, so here is number three from the quiz access for chapters nine and 10. Uh, let's just uh, jump into it, I guess. It's kind of got this really long scrolly thing, so it's a little bit of a pain, but uh, hopefully we can get through it. So uh, this says the following information applies to this. Analyze each transaction by showing its effects on the accounting equation, specifically identify the accounts and amounts, uh, including a plus or a minus for each transaction, enter all amounts. Okay. It says that we wanna do a plus or a minus. Maybe that's this. All right, sorry. I just, <laughs> it said do a plus or a minus and it said enter each one as positive values and I didn't realize what they wanted in that middle column. Sometimes I feel like with McGraw-Hill, you know what you're supposed to do, but you don't know how they want it. So, um, all right. So let's just look on July 15th, Piper Company sold $15,000 of merchandise uh, costing $7,500. They sold it for cash. The sales tax rate is 5% on August 1st. Piper sent the sales tax collected from the sale to the government on August 1st. Okay. On November 3rd, the Milwaukee Bucks sold six game pack advance tickets for 450 cash. November 20th, the Bucks played uh, the first game of the six game pack. This represents one sixth of the advance ticket sales. Um, okay, so we've got a few different things going on here. Um, so if we sell $15,000 of merchandise on July 15th, uh, then we're going to show our asset cash. Uh, we, so we sold 15,000 and we had a sales tax rate of uh, 5%. So I'm gonna say I had $15,000 uh, times 1.05, which will tell me what 15,000 plus 5% is. So if my thing will work out here. Okay, let me clear this in three. 15,750 dollars. So my cash is going to increase by 15,750 dollars. That's the 15,000 dollars in sales and the 750 dollars um, in uh, sales tax that I collected on behalf of the government. Um, so also though my liability, which is, I'm going to call it something like sales tax is payable, there it is. Um, that's gonna have increased by 750, right? Money I owe the government and my equity, let's see how they want us to do this. Probably just call it sales, right? It's a form of revenue. increases by 15,000 or 1,500, sorry. No, 15,000, that's right. All right, so it's a little hard to see with the long stretchy scrolly thing here. And I'm gonna stretch this out. So my cash increases by 15,750. 750 of it is a liability, money I owe the government. And 15,000 of it is sales revenue, which is gonna increase my equity, okay? Um, the other part of that transaction is that the merchandise costs us $7,500. So uh, my asset merchandise inventory is going to go down or decrease by the cost, $7,500. And my equity the expense cost of goods sold. Which, so even though my cost of goods sold is increasing, that's going to lead my, my equity uh, to decrease. So that's kind of all the stuff that happened on that trans transaction. Uh, on August 1st, I have to pay my taxes to the government. Um, so my asset cash is going to go down. by $750 and my liability sales tax is payable is going to go down 
by 750. Now I don't owe the government anything. All right, on November 3rd, the Milwaukee Bucks, they sell these this uh, six game pack of advanced tickets for 450. I don't think you could get a six game pack to the Milwaukee Bucks for 450, but maybe, I don't know. So when they do that, when they make that sale, let's see. Um, they're selling something that they haven't earned yet, okay? So their cash is going to go up by $450. But their liability is also going to go up in the form of unearned revenue. We're going to call it unearned ticket revenue. And then on the 20th, when the people who have the ticket go to the first game, now the bucks will have earned um, a portion of that revenue. Um, how much? Well, if it was 450 divided by six games, then the bucks earn $75 um, each time uh, the person goes to a game. So our liability unearned ticket revenue is gonna decrease by $75 after th that one game is used up. Uh, and our equity, our revenue, which I guess we're gonna call, let's make sure they, just sales. I wanna make sure they don't have like a ticket sales or something like that. Oh, there it is, ticket revenue uh, is going to increase by $75. So again, things I look for, make sure I have, if I have an increase on one side of the equal sign, I have an increase on the other that corresponds. In this case, I've got nothing on the asset side, but I have a decrease and an increase, which means no change to the liability equity uh, overall total. So I'm gonna check my work, make sure I did this right. And it looks like I'm all good. So I hope that was helpful to you. Um, and I hope you have a really great day.